Hello guys, I am Nikhil Lotke and you are watching Support Mania. Today I am going to explain you how to integrate SVN in your existing Android project. Here I am going to cover some main topics, how to dump your project to a particular SVN server, uh, then how to commit your code, update or revert or show history. So I am going to uh, give you a brief info about all the all this stuff. So. I have as you can see over here I have already created SVN integration demo project in Android studio so to start with SVN stuff you need to delete uh, the existing pre-existing files from the project so you need to delete uh, workspace.xml which will uh, you will find inside a dot idea folder so I'm going to delete this and uh, click on ok then go to app and uh, select this build folder click on delete ok delete that's it so after that you need to go to vcs click on vcs and click on import into version control ok then go to import into subversion once you'll click on here see I have uh, many repositories over here select that folder and click on import now here you have you have to select which folder you want to dump so in my case over here and click on ok ok and click ok again so now you can see some files are getting imported to subversion this will take some time yeah as you can see I am done with importing my project to uh, a particular server which I am trying to uh, dump to ok now follow these uh, steps then uh, go to VCS again and uh, enable version control click on it ok select sub version from here click on ok you can see that your project is turned into red color okay so what's next again go to vcs browse vcs repository browse as a subversion repository here you will find uh, you need to find your uh, repository specific repository which you want to check out and uh, check out which project so in my case over here uh, demo projects under it uh, svn integration demo ok so this is my project uh, just right click on it and click on checkout ok click on ok again click on ok yes so checkout from version control is done successfully would you like to open no okay so as you can see over here previously it was uh, in uh, my project was in uh, red color now it is turned to black color okay that means uh, all the file from the server is uh, there into our uh, workspace okay now I'll show you how you are going to commit particular code into SVN so I'll just minimize this thing I'll go to main Java then my main activity okay over here I'll type I'll write something to show you how to commit some stuff so here I'll simply write my uh, name Mikhail load k okay and I'm as you can see over here uh, this main activity was in uh, black color like this and uh, once I made any changes into this file it turned to uh, blue color which means you have done some modifications inside this class this will uh, indicate that so uh, yeah well I want to commit this part so what I'll do either you can uh, click on this same file right click on it go to subversion and then commit file or there is another way of doing it go to subversion control then go to folder structure over here you will find this is my file 
which he is going to commit which I need to commit okay so I'll click on this then I'll click on commit it's a group good practice to uh, write your commit message because this will indicate in a pressure situation so I'll uh, write uh, this is my test comment okay and uh, I'll click on commit so as you can see this one file is committed this is my last comment so you can see my comment is also updated over here and uh, again this file is turned to black which means there is no changes available in this file to commit okay so if I want to uh, uh, find out history against whatever commits or updates uh, done with this file so what I'll from where I'll get this uh, just again need to right click on the same file okay go to subversion then uh, show history over here you can see now so this is my moment ago this is my comment so that's all guys that's all hope you understand uh, understood how to engage with uh, SVN in Android studio please subscribe to my channel to watch more tech videos thank you so much